catch salt. Alrighty guys, good morning and welcome back to another video today. So, the deal with today is uh, I got some shrimp, some dead shrimp. I'm gonna toss them around some structure, try to catch some pinfish, maybe some croakers, kind of just see whatever bites. And uh, basically I'm gonna try to catch bait. I could catch, you know, pinfish, croakers, pigfish. Uh, I could catch a bunch of different things that I might be able to use for bait today. But uh, I'm not sure what that is, so we're gonna go ahead and start throwing around, looking for uh, looking for some bait, and then we're gonna take that bait and go for some giant snook. It's a bit breezy today, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. Let's uh, let's find some bait here. All right, all I got is a little 10 J hook, two pinch weights, and a little tiny piece of shrimp. We're gonna drop around some structure. Look for pinfish, croakers, pigfish. Could be any of those three. All right, well, update for you guys now. It is currently 11 a.m. and I've done nothing but attempt to catch bait through the cast net a little bit, through those little pieces of shrimp a little bit. So far, all I've got was uh, a spot croaker, which uh, will be really good for big snook, and uh, a pilchard. And one of those, I think they're called a like a weak fish, or I, I don't really know what it's called. It's like a little sand trout, I hear people call it. People say it's really good for snook. So I got one of those. It kind of looks like a croaker as well, but it's definitely not a croaker. I'll show you guys here in a minute. But people have said they're really good for snook, so I decided to save one, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to catch a big snook here, and uh, maybe just one. It's kind of late in the day here, so we'll see what happens. All right, we're gonna start off with this spot croaker here. Gonna rig them just like that through the nose. That is a big croaker for a big snook. Got our heavy set up here. Just gonna take a peek around the dock, look for anything that uh, wants to bite. Probably gonna be a snook, but got my heavy rod today, 20 to 40 pound rod, 5k spinning reel here, and oh, pretty tight drag. So we should be ready to go. able to kind of talk you guys through what was going on there because I was trying to be quiet but <laughs> through the spot in front of this guy I saw him go do down on it but couldn't really tell what was going on <sighs> not a bad snook not a 40 or anything but how sick <sighs> it's actually a pretty dang big snook <clears throat> All right, well that came out of nowhere. I went from uh, eyeballing around to hooked up in five seconds. <laughs> All right guys, well, first fish of the day right there. Honestly, this is probably like a 35 inch snook. Uh, came out of nowhere, 34, 35 probably. I, I mean, really came out of nowhere. I could barely see him through that croaker over there in front of him. And then uh, I saw him go down on it and uh, I just, the croaker disappeared. I couldn't see very well, but pulled tight and that's how you do it. <laughs> Two, that's one of our three baits used and uh, we'll go ahead and get this guy back in the water. Oh. oh. I'll tell you what guys, croakers work very well, whether they're spots or hard heads. That was a 6 so circle hook right in the corner of the lip there. <clears throat> Unhooked. I'll get this guy's head back in the water. Girl, probably. Female. 
turn around here. Typically I only keep fish out of the water for maybe 30 seconds most when I'm uh, like maybe showing the camera or taking a picture. So that's a beautiful snug. That's like a 20 pounder, no doubt. <laughs> All right, see you girl. Oh, well, that was not too bad right there. That, I mean, I, I keep saying coming out of nowhere, but I hadn't seen a snook until I had thought I seen a snook and I threw, <laughs> threw right in front of it and got thumped and then we were on, but now we only got two baits left. Can I make two more fish happen? Probably not, but I'll take that one. That was sick. Now I am using 40 pound fluorocarbon with a 6.0 circle hook. That's this guy right here, 40 pound fluoro. And you can see this got frayed up pretty well. I put the heat on that fish and uh, kept her out of the docks there. So go ahead and retie. And uh, I think I'll go to that little croaker looking whatever that bait is. I'll show you guys here in a second. So that bait I was talking about earlier that I'm not quite sure the identity of this. This is what you guys have been telling me are really good for snook. In my past couple videos when I've been, uh, I've got a couple fishing and uh, you guys have said they're good for snook. So hopefully it's not illegal to use this as bait. <laughs> I guess we'll find out when I upload this video or maybe I'll double check after this, but I, I, I'm almost certain I, I'm allowed to use this as bait. Looks just like a croaker. It really does in the water, almost identical. Oh, but as much as I wanted to catch something with this, it has died. <laughs> Didn't last very long. And uh, I'm out of bait now because I checked in my bucket and I realized the pilchard I had is no longer with us. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is switch over to this guy, which is right here. This is a NLBN low mullet, which is like a fluke style bait. Go ahead and rig this up and throw this for the rest of the day to see if I can't get one more fish. <laughs> I know you guys probably couldn't see that, but all I could see was a green 30 plus inch spot going across the bottom. Little mullet land three feet in front of him, twitch, 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 and just inhaled it. Whew. I am grinding today for bites. I've gotten one bite and then I ran out of bait, so switch to the little mullet. This is a big snook, another one. This one might be bigger than the last. God, that was sick. A little fray above the leader, or above the lure. Let's see if I can get this fish. Should be able to get it right here. She will not open her mouth even an inch. Got her. <laughs> That's a stud snook on the little mullet. Oh. Well, I wish I had my camera out right now, but we're gonna make it easy on this fish. I think we'll go ahead and uh, unhook. Maybe get a measure. Unhook, keep the fish in the water, support her belly. Gonna lay her down gently on this ruler so we don't mess up mess up any of the slime just very gently lay this fish down zero and it's roughly i'm gonna say 34 that's all i need to know <sighs> well i wish i had my camera out right now but i put it away because it was kind of rough out here but 34 inch snook on the little mullet back in the water for this girl <sighs> Oh, all right, 
I'm gonna let you go. Bite down on my finger all you want. You ready? I'll turn you around, spin you, and shoot off. <laughs> yes! Whew. Grinding for a bite today. Oh my. It is 2.20. Now, you guys probably can't tell this in a video, but I've been out here since, what, 7 a.m.? Trying to get bait. Struggled. You know, made do with what I had. Switched over to the good old-fashioned little mullet fluke here. We got two studs today. Well, as much as I want to get one more fish, guys, I just don't think it is going to happen today. I had a beautiful red come up and chase the little mullet right then there at the end and grab the tail of it and pull it off the hook, and I ended up missing him and just didn't get him. Probably a 30-inch red. Um, it was a really nice fish. Would have been capped off the day perfectly but it just does not seem like it's gonna happen it's currently 3 30 and it is time to go home so if you guys have stayed until this point in the video thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in that next video